Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMineBlocks. In today's video, I'll be talking briefly about Ycash and also how you can get started mining it using your GPUs, that's either AMD or Nvidia. I'll show you for the whole process and um, get you up and running mining Ycash. So let's jump into it. Okay, so Ycash. Ycash is a fork of Zcash and it's gonna be happening um, today in approximately 12 hours. Most likely by the time you're watching this video, uh, the fork could already have taken place and the network will be up and running and live, barring any uh, complications with it. So primarily there's a few differences between Ycash and um, it, its former, uh, or what it's based upon, Zcash. So primary differences are Ycash is focused on GPU mining, whereas Zcash has kind of started off as a CPU and GPU mining, and now it's gone down the ASIC route. So Ycash is taking it back to basics and taking it to GPU mining, um, or, or that's their primary focus. A few other differences is that the 20% uh, uh, founders reward that is based on Zcash, that is being reduced down to 5% reward, and that's gonna to go to the Ycash foundation. So there are the significant changes. So you've got that proof of work um, change, which is going to be for the GPUs and the founders reward is being uh, changed as well. Uh, separate from that, there is also a change in the address formatting, uh, changing from um, T addresses and uh, the Z addresses, and now they're going to be S addresses and Y addresses. Um, essentially, they're the the address formatting is very much the same, except it just starts with a different character. That's that's the primary difference there. So you guys want to know that this is um, obviously a fork of Zcash. It's a fork of the uh, code base, so that all the software and characteristics of Zcash, but also it's a fork of the blockchain. So what that means is that if you have a balance on the Zcash network at the time of the fork, which is today, I think it's block uh, 50, 570,000. I'll put the, uh, the, the exact details on the screen exactly what block that is. But if you have a Zcash um, balance at that point in time, then that will be uh, also um, effectively cloned onto the Ycash network. So what that means is that you will have a balance on your Zcash network and you'll have a balance on the Ycash network. Um, to get those, what you need to do is you would need to export your Zcash private address and then you would need to import it into a Ycash uh, wallet. I'll put a link of the wallets, uh, everything on screen or in the video description for you. So that's the basics there. I know there's quite a lot and I'm trying to cram it into a uh, more of a condensed uh, video in this section. But now let's take a look at the mining aspects of it and show you how to get up and running GPU mining Ycash. Okay, so here we are on the official website. So it's ycash.xyz or Z if you prefer. Uh, and like I said, there is the uh, primary changes that I've already sort of uh, covered. So the algorithm, the proof of work algorithm, Algorithm, sorry, is changing from uh, Equihash 200.9 to Equihash 192.7. So what that means is basically that uh, it's gonna be GPU mineable, focused on GPUs and all the assets are not gonna be able to mine this algorithm um, until some point in the future. Uh, the founders reward, I've already covered that and also the address formatting. So you can see here how that address formatting uh, changes so what you want to do is create a Ycash uh, wallet. So these are the current wallets that are supported. So some of them will allow you to import your uh, Zcash private address, uh, and that will allow you to effectively have a balance on, on both networks. Or you can create just a brand new wallet on um, the Ycash uh, fork. So that's what I would recommend uh, you do. If you've created your new address or you've imported your old Zcash address, then you are ready to um, start mining. So the miner that we're gonna be using is this G miner. So I'm using 1.51. I'll put a link in the description so you can get set up and started with it. There is um, a few other miners, uh, but this is a good miner. I've used it quite a lot recently. It has a 2% fee and it works with Nvidia and uh, AMD uh, based GPU. So it's a pretty good all rounder. Supports lots of other algorithms as well, such as Beam and um, a lot of the other common sort of equity hash algorithms. So it's a good all round miner, have had no problems with it, really quite stable, um, good all round. So you want to download this, I presume you guys are mostly gonna be on Windows. So you want to download the Gminer 1.51 and the Windows 64 version. So obviously you just click that and download it to your downloads folder. From there, 
if you go to your downloads folder where you just downloaded it to and then you're going to have a uh, zip file in here somewhere you need to have a good sort out it's got so much junk in there now so you'll have a g minor uh, zip file so you want to right click and extract it to the folder of the same name um, i've already done that uh, and then if you open up that folder itself wherever it is good i need to have a good sort out here um there we are so g minor 1.51 windows and you can see it's already got quite a few batch files in there so there's like sample batch files to help you get set up and started that's quite a good uh, thing that they do. Some other miners don't include sample files, so it makes it a bit more complicated, but this makes it extra easy. So then what we're going to do is we're going to find a pool that we want to mine to. So I've seen so far that this uh, flypool.org has uh, quite good support. Basically, they've got a nice, simple layout. It's really easy to mine with them. They've put everything on you know, where it should be for you, so it's really easy to get started with them. Um, so you've got the basic information, You've got various servers, Asia, Europe, and US. Tells you what ports to mine on, obviously. Tells you what miners to use, so just super easy and simple to get set up. You don't need to create any accounts with them or anything like that. You can use your Ycash, you can use a uh, either a transparent address or you can also use a shielded address. So lots of options, but also uh, very simple and easy to use as well. So if we go uh, back to our mining folder here, so you can see I've already created a, a ycash.patch file. You won't have one, but you can just either edit one of the, your other files or you can create one from um, just a text file. So I'll show you what looks this looks like inside. Um, and I'll just break down the different uh, components for you. Let me just put this um, in the background. So you can see where I get the information from effectively. So in your mining batch file, you've got the start. So it is the miner.exe, so it's a call to the miner. Then we've got the algo, so the proof of work algorithm or the algorithm that this um, network is going to be using is 192 underscore 7, so that is the proof of work algorithm. Then we've got the server, so it's asking for our pool address. So here we've got the pool address, so I've got eu-ycash.flypool.org. You might want to change it if you want like a lower uh, ping, so if you're uh, in the Asia or Pacific regions, then choose this address or if you're in the United States, choose that address. It'll just get you lower um, pings and basically be more responsive. Next up, we have the port. So I'm just gonna use the default straighten port, which is 3333. You can see I've already got that there in place. Now the next part is the user. So here I've just basically used a dummy uh, address, which is the one down here. So like I said, this is your Ycash um, wallet address so you can use an address that starts with an s or you can use an address uh, shielded address so that's one that starts with a y so you can use either one of those uh, you can also add in a worker so you can do it like this or uh, like a worker nickname so if you know what machine you're mining on etc i'll leave that out for the time being for simplicity password is just x that's kind of your default and um, this part here is quite important so you need to add this purse so it's personalization and what it means is just basically it makes sure that the um, the miner and the algorithm are linked up and basically um, running correctly. So make sure you add in this PERS part. You, you don't often have to do that, but in this particular one you do. So then you want to go to file and you want to go to save as. If you're using like a text file, you may want to make sure you save it as .bat. And then where it says save as type, save as all files, make sure you do that. Otherwise it will just get saved as a text file. So then you want to save it, I've already got it, so we're just going to say yes. And that's that's the mining configuration. So now if we go back to the folder, we are ready to run our uh, miner. I'm just going to open up the afterburner. I've already got a custom fan profile just to keep the card cool. Um, in this particular machine, it's a GTX uh, 1080 Ti, and I'll just run it on stop clocks just to show you the performance. So we'll start the Ycash minor or G minor, mining Y cache should say. So you can see here G minor 1.5, Equihash hash 192.7, Z cache, uh, proof of work, which is actually mining Y cache. You can see it's connected to the pool, the pool and our address, or well, it's actually a dummy address, but you get the idea. Uh, further down, you can see that it's connected uh, to the GPU zero, the GTX 1080 Ti, that all looks good. 
and now it's going to start mining. So we'll just leave it for a minute and we'll just see what our um, current performance and hash rate is and you can kind of use that as a basis to whether your um, GPU is running well um, and you know just have a comparative uh, basis for it. Okay so it comes in the first result is 49.9 sols per second and that's what I got uh, roughly around sort of previously in a previous uh, test that I just did. So um, yeah 1080 Ti around about 50 sols per second so obviously use that as a benchmark. I haven't done any testing in terms of um, overclocking or optimizing that's just really just the first um, test. Okay so I'm just going to go close down the miner now because I don't want it to interfere with the uh, screen capture um, software but if you go uh, back to here so for those guys that are going to start mining here like I say the, the network goes live in just under 11 hours um, by the time most of you guys are watching this the network will be completely fully live so just before you start mining just go to the pool just double check all of the details, make sure nothing has changed in the meantime uh, with regards to ports or anything like that. Just make sure it's all up and running before you um, start mining. And once you do start mining, you'll be able to check all of your details on the pool. Let me um, have a look, there should be a, but there should be somewhere on here where you can, oh, that's it. Yeah, so if you go to the address forward slash miners and then if you enter your address, you should see your uh, performance and like I say if you use the worker configuration um, you'll be able to see the different workers but you see a hash rate accepted shares and all that other stuff you, you guys know this um, by by now I should hope um, but if you're completely new this is where you check your stats um, payouts I'm not too sure uh, what the time frame is in, in payouts but most pools they will either pay out period or periodically once a day or once a week whatever or it will pay out when you hit a certain payment threshold so that could be um, 0.1 uh, Ycash or something like that, for example. I'm not too sure exactly what the payouts are. I probably should have checked, but um, I didn't. But here's where you check your stats. So just change this for your um, address that you're mining with, and then you'll see the correct stats up there, okay? Okay, guys, I'll leave it here. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. Uh, best of luck mining Ycash, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers, bye.